Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Miss Roxanne and this is Daily Rambles. Today we are doing Legends of Tomorrow. This is season 5, episode 7 called Mr. Parker's Cul-de-Sac. So we start off five, actors, um, five hours after the whole Bebo versus Evil fight thing that was like two years ago. And Gary's on the Planet Crew like five hours later after that, like I said. And he sees Damien Dark. <laughs> and so then we cut to where Constantine wants the Legends to find the Loom of Fate. Sarah says, no, not happening. Then we got to 1874, where there's an encore happening, and then the rest of the team are gone. Then we got to where Ray's going to propose to Nora. And then we got to where Nora arrives. Then we found out that John is going to find the loom himself. Then Nate gives um, a South Pole clue to John, so he's going to go there. Bill's really Charlie, trying to throw him off. Then Mick is pissed because someone wrote a really bad review on his novel. Then we cut to where... Okay, so they go to 1874 and say Gary, but that's 2018 Gary, who thinks Ava is still the head of the Department of Time. No. Um, then we cut to where Damien visits Nora, and he's actually the encore. Because he took um, Gary's device to go to 2020. And he found Nora thanks to Palmer Tech location being on. Then we cut to where she lies to him and says that is his house. And she runs to go tell Ray while, you know, she's going to tour the house to leave and take the girl with her. With him. Because um, she doesn't want him to know that she's like a fairy godmother. And then we cut to where Zari helps Mick with the bad review um, issue. And then Ray gives the girl Pippa um, a tape to watch. So they're watching Mr. Parker's cul-de-sac, which is basically Mr. Rogers. Then we cut to where um, Sarah knows that Damien is back, thanks to Gary. And we cut to where uh, the person that gave the bad review so basically Zari said why don't you send them a book and autograph it and everything and usually it smooths, smooths things out it's, it helps smooth it over with, it, with the fan anyway the fan was not happy about that or the bad reviewer and lit it on fire into a trash can <laughs> so Zari got a location for it and they go to um, fuss the person out and it turns out it's Allie's daughter and it's actually Mick's daughter, and Mick passes out. And <laughs> then we cut to where Nora blocks uh, Sarah and Ava uh, from offing uh, Damien so quick. And then um, the, she wants to do a potion to make him mortal. Then John realized what Charlie did after talking to Nate and got like, why are you going to the South Pole? It's hella cold there. And then we cut to where Ava answers Wild Dog's call. Because Wild Dog kept answering and she kept denying the call. Uh, Sarah did. So then, anyway, then John comes into the house. They have a quick fight scene. Then Nora breaks it up and says that her and John are together and they kiss. And then, uh, <laughs> then Damien's like very okay with it and actually hugs, goes to hug uh, John. And then... Let's see. Uh, then Ray and the little girl talk and summons Nora and then argues with Ray and then they kind of smooth out for a little bit and they go, she goes back. Then Mid talks to Allie and uh, I want to say Lena. I probably did not write that down right and I'm sorry in advance. Then Mick and Mom wipes them and leaves. <laughs> then John got dirt and uh, says basically you need a fate while talking to Damien uh, to find the loom. Then cut to where Ava is mad about Sarah's job offer in Star City. Then Gary got the potion ready. Then Nate and Ray talk some more. And then he said, is this a mistake? And then finally, Nate goes like, yes. Oh my God, yes. You're rushing, you're rushing, you're rushing, you're rushing. And um, we found out that he put the ring in the moose. And so then Ray tries to warn Nora, but Ava found it. And then John plays it up. And she says no to the proposal. 
And she finally comes clean about everything. And the dad is mad and takes it out on everyone with his uh, powers and stuff. Then the kid wishes everyone was on Mr. Parker's cul-de-sac. And so Sarah and Ava work it out. Because Sarah was seriously concerning it because Ava wanted to settle down. But now that Ava's having so much fun on the ship, she kind of doesn't want to settle down. And she's fine with what these stuff is now. Then we cut to where uh, John will help Charlie destroy the loom once and for all once they fix Astra. Then Norris ends up to her dad and finally he gets it. Finally. <laughs> and then um, the kid releases Nora because it's like, your family is so screwed up. Mine looks freaking normal. And so she releases uh, Nora. And then Nora says yes to Ray. And they're getting married now. And you have the whole wedding montage. which was super emotional and super cool. I really, really liked that scene. Then Ray and Damien talk. It's like, you need to stay in the real world or I'll off you. <laughs> and then we cut to Rosari and Mid talk. And um, about, you know, the daughter. And basically said, like, you know, Mick thinks, like, the girl's better off and everything because, like, he never met her and he, she's never been in juvie, which is, like, a godsend for him because he's been in juvie so many times and in jail so many times. Then we cut to where um, Damien said he wants to be better. Then Sarah talks to him and he took the sword and went back to um, the Sea Astra. And because, uh, you know, he was brought back to basically cause harm and stuff and, you know, anguish and all that whole thing. But he didn't want to do that anymore because to see how good his daughter is. And he kind of wants to do the same. So he took the sword and went on the permanent vacation back to hell. So um, I thought that was kind of actually noble of him. And um, he understand because Sarah, when Sarah was talking to him, you know, he was saying all this stuff and um, he actually reached out his hand to shake. She didn't do it, obviously, because of the whole, you know, world going bye-bye because of him. But um, he gets it. He's not upset and everything. So, you know, but I don't know. It was a good episode. I really enjoyed it. And um, I gave it an A+. Plus. I thought it was really good. The storyline was really good. I actually really enjoyed it. I just wish they could have done a more of a proper, proper send-off. Like, they could have kept, you know, Damien Dark in there for two episodes and actually planned the wedding and had, like, a whole thing and not going to make it feel so rushed. Which I think was, like, the issue going into this because I, I read a bunch of stuff online, like, how, you know, they're kind of, like, you know, the guy that played Brandon Ruth was kind of, like, oh, shit, I don't want to have a job anymore <laughs> at the beginning of the season. So, um, this was, like, their last, like, send-off episode. I just wish it was, like, a better send off but i mean it is what it is so anyway uh that's one thing for this video so if you like this video please go to like comment down below tell me what you think of episode do you agree disagree tell me your thoughts down below don't forget to subscribe because i also have the channel a lot and i'll see y'all in my next video bye everybody